Americans' love of coffee has grown over the decades. The morning cup of Joe expanded to coffee on the go. Drinks got fancier and frothier. These days, coffee lovers are becoming more selective. A growing devotion to craft, locally roasted coffee. I would call myself an amateur aficionado, but I can definitely tell a good cup of coffee. Some might call it the coffee snob phenomenon, uh, but, it, but people just caring more about what's actually in their cup. And of course, that's something you can do very well on a very small scale. Vigilante Coffee in Hyattsville, Maryland is among the companies, giving the Java industry a jolt. Chris Vigilante was experimenting roasting techniques in his basement just a few years ago. Now, his company has expanded to multiple locations, and the coffee is distributed throughout the country. What's attractive about these young coffee companies in these different communities is being so authentic and real and, and, and connecting with the community, not just being a part of it to make money. Analysts say the same passion that helped drive the craft beer craze is fueling this coffee cult. The same trend is now playing out in coffee, and this is a trend that you can't ignore if you're one of those chains. I mean, you've seen Starbucks over the years put in their clover device. You've seen them do more pour overs. Starbucks opened up its first high-end reserve roastery and tasting room in Seattle in 2014. And last fall, Pete's Coffee and Tea purchased Portland-based Stumptown Coffee and Chicago-based Intelligentsia. CEO David Berwick says the decision was driven by millennial consumers. Those consumers want to go to many different coffee shops, many different cafes, and enjoy coffee in many different ways. We can still satisfy those consumers by, by doing what Pete's does really well, but then we can bring in more consumers by being affiliated and partnered with, with Sumtown and Intelligentsia. And although the way coffee is made has changed. It's part of my routine that I, I can't miss it. People's devotion to it has not. Christopher Fourier, Associated Press.